Welcome to CGMA's Storytelling with Previz course. Previz is increasingly becoming an integral part of the production process, helping filmmakers save time and money by having a very solid idea of what the film will look like even before production begins. In this course, students will learn the basics of pre-visualization shot creation, from composing shots to animating cameras to doing quick, efficient character animation and compositing, students will learn the skills needed to enable them to help today's top filmmakers transform their stories from rough storyboards to fully realized pre-visualization that is often not far from the finished product. Shot creators are often given a lot of freedom to design shots and to be an important part of the storytelling process. Here's what you will learn. Week 1. You will learn how to best place a shot within an environment and choose a camera lens, etc. We will also review the basics of cinematography and how it is used in previs. This course will also include an intro into using existing camera and lens data to match the equipment being used in production. Week 2. In the real world of previs, you will encounter many situations in which you do not have what you need to create your shot, but you have to create it by the deadline anyway. In this course, we will go over how to quickly create props using pieces of the environment, how to extend environments quickly but convincingly, and how to work with an existing environment to come up with a good shot composition while being considerate of the rest of the previous team and the production. What's okay to move around or fudge and what's not. Week 3. In this week, we will go over camera motion, including understanding what will be available to production when they are shooting and how to be respectful of this while animating your camera. We will go over cranes, dollies, and other real-life camera setups. We will also cover imaginary setups and when you'll want to use those. We will discuss how Previz helps producers and directors plan and budget their shots in the real world, and the types of options you might be expected to give them at different budget levels, etc. Week 4. Block out the character movement in a shot using good, solid, dynamic poses that tell the story as efficiently and effectively as possible. Week 5. Take your blocking to full animation. In this course, tricks for animating quickly will be covered. Possible timed animation exercise in course. Shot creators are commonly expected to finish two full shots in a 9 or 10 hour day. Week 6. This week will cover when it's appropriate to spend time using or creating effects in Maya and when it's faster and smarter to fake effects in comp. This can sometimes be based on supervisor preference, but whenever the supervisor doesn't favor Maya only, it can save you a lot of time to do your effects in comp whenever you can. A brief intro to After Effects will be included in this course. What you need to know of After Effects to do previs is fairly basic, but it can be very important especially if you ever intend to do post-viz as well as previs. Week 7. This course will include a brief introduction to post-viz, a type of previs that occurs after live-action production and before VFX and animation production, in which previs elements are merged with live-action plates to form an accurate idea of how shots might look after VFX production is done. We will briefly cover what to do with a live-action plate when you need to comp one in what to color correct and what not to, and how to color correct it, how to track and stabilize when needed, how to use masks to crop plates and to paint things out of a plate, etc. Week 8. Most previs and post-viz teams are small and very interactive. Sometimes you will get to interact with directors, producers, and executives as well, and you will be expected to handle all kinds of potentially stressful situations. This week's course will cover how to work together quickly without driving each other crazy, how to handle potential unusual situations, like collaborating remotely with supervisors on location in other countries, proper etiquette for interacting with production, and how to ensure that you have a constant output of high-quality work while consistently meeting very tight deadlines. For the next eight weeks, you will have the industry's best artist as your mentor, allowing you to rapidly improve your skills by having access to industry standard training and information in a one-on-one -on -one mentoring environment. Each week, you will have access to pre-recorded content that you will be able to access and review at any time, followed with a challenging homework assignment that will be reviewed weekly by your mentor, allowing you to master the skills needed to get into the industry. Once a week, you will also have a live Q&A session where you can interact with your mentor and ask any question. The live Q&A will be recorded and you will have access to it at any time. 
I really hope you enjoy this course, and the CGMA team is excited to see what you will come up with. Register today at cgmasteracademy.com.